The genre, which many like to call Boomer Shooter, has never been as vibrant as it is right now. And vibrant is the catchword when playing Fashion Police Squad for the first time, which despite being a first-person shooter, doesn't have any gore elements. A title that is full of reference, not only to titles that made this genre so beloved, such as Duke Nukem, but also to movies like The Wolf of Wall Street, or to drag elements such as the highly acclaimed Death Drop, and even the finger snap from Nintendo Direct Showcase. This was one of the cases that caught my attention on Twitter for its creative and colorful side in terms of presentation, but also in terms of gameplay. It's noticeable that the mobile game studios put a lot of time and attention into every detail during the adventure. While the story isn't the deepest, every line of text lets the characters' personalities shine through, and there's even drama to keep things spicy. The player will play the role of Sergeant Des, a policeman dedicated to fighting the wave of fashion crimes in the city. The streets are full of people who have various problems in terms of their clothing, which, yes, are present in our daily lives and which, among them, are multiplied by examples of tourists wearing sandals and white socks, clothes that are too tight and Karens of this life. As I mentioned, there are no moments of gore or any kind of violence. All weapons are somehow related to fashion and affect specific enemies. The 2 die for elite gun is perfect for solving crimes of monotony of colors against the grey suits of businessmen, but it is completely harmless against the tourists with sandals and white socks. All weapons have a different but very intuitive flow from the first contact with them. It should be noted that the water weapon makes it possible to wet not only enemies but also the ground and thus make the character move faster. This is a viable option for traversing the map faster, but it also makes it easier to reach platforms further away. I found myself often looking for the right button to pull the right weapon to fight the fashion crime that was in front of me. Yes, because playing in hard mode it's not easy at all. At certain times there is the need to cross the level again in the opposite direction, not being exactly the same thing since the enemy is presented in a second round might even be different from the previous case, but there was a need to do so to add some game time to a level that seemed to be small. Well, when it comes to level design, the colorful maps, which get more interesting as the story progresses, invite your exploration and become even more interesting due to the amount of secrets hidden in each corner and that reward the player with a poster of the character dressed in a very special way. What about E-Man in a fashion game or even Harry Potter? Whether you understand fashion, whether you're a fan of pop culture elements or on the other end, you don't understand any of these subjects, Fashion Police Squad manages to grab the player for the fun of its easy to recommend gameplay and still delivers a few laughs in between. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you really like the video, or even watch my live streams every single day of the week on Twitch.